Hey, what's going on, y'all? Thank you so much for tuning in. So, get ready to drop a what's the tea for y'all guys tonight. Don't forget, flip the rolls as you see fit. Take only what you need, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate, let it fly, okay? Um, use the spirit of discernment. Y'all know how I flow around here. If you are triggered, face your mirror and not my comment section, okay? Now, these messages are just for entertainment purposes only, all right? So, I do know for a fact here that um, the energy is already coming out kind of weird. So, something you may have been wishing for or hoping for, you could be disappointed, okay, because you're either not satisfied or because it's, it's it doesn't seem like it's coming true, okay. So let me set my intentions because this already seemed like this gonna be a little heavy, <laughs> all right. But thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides, my true guides, for showing up, helping me to deliver this. What's the tea? Protect us as we go through these portals. Help me to also just really come in a way where this can be empowering for my collective, okay? So thank you so much again for protecting us as we go through these portals to commune with you. And so it is, all right? So, um, so basically here, it's like you were hoping to get a new start with something, with, with what? Something you've been asking for, 10 of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands in the reverse, all right? So, yeah, when it comes to your family life being stable or some type of financial security or material success, something of that nature, right? You may have been hoping that you were going to get this fresh start or a new start with this, right? And of course, it, it seems like it's some type of delays. I got a Knight of Wands coming out in the reverse, all right? So you could be this masculine energy or it could be somebody connected to you. I don't know, all right? But... Tell me about this Knight of Wands energy. Somebody could be, okay, Four of Swords comes out, all right? So it's a lot of hesitation is definitely what I'm saying. Somebody could be either like lacking the confidence about something here and it's not making them happy. This Knight of Wands could be somebody younger as well. Masculine energy, okay? So... Somebody could be dealing with some type of like illness or it's like a constant battle. I feel like what I feel like it seems like this energy of you may be being you may feel exhausted because it seems like every time you turn around, there's something it's like it's always something right it's like you get through this one thing then bam here comes the next thing then bam here comes the next thing and it's just like never ending. Is how I'm seeing it. And it's like you're not really... Some of you could be in a period where you have to rest, okay? Especially if you are recovering um, from some type of illness or something like that. And yeah, you're just in a recovery period. But um, that's how I see that's how I see it, right? And it's really like disappointing you because it's almost as if this thing is just dragging out, all right? Yeah, Eight of Swords comes out. So somebody is feeling very, let's just say restricted or stuck in some kind of way or even powerless because of this, okay? And it's, show me what I need to see here. Ooh, there go that Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to take it, okay? Yep, so it's like, could have been caught in some type of cycle, like I said. And this is a turning point in your life. So that's what I'm going to say. That's the T. Thank you, my spirit team. This is going to be a turning point for you where, I mean, your life been unpredictable. Let's just put it that way. Okay, but good fortune is coming in for you. All right, so I feel like your wishes are coming to um true it's just that they may have been delayed okay coming out in that knight of wands reverse energy usually that's someone who can be non-committal like they don't commit to things while they're in and out you know things like that so it could have been delayed um as well if this isn't a younger person right it could be because of behaviors um and patterns um and here I got the Eight of Pentacles coming out in a reverse position. So some of you been just, you just might be burnt out. You know, you may have been working too hard or some of you may not have been working hard enough. But however it is, it's like, it's this feeling of just tired, you know, just burnt out. But yeah, challenges. 
lot of uncertainty of um, if you may be successful, if you're going to be able to overcome this, the challenges that you're going through. But again, like I said, there's a turning point. Okay, so we're going to focus on that turning point. Tell me more about the turning point happening in my collective's life. Emperor energy. Don't worry. <laughs> You're going to sit on your throne walls. Okay, so I'm seeing this as either some type of father figure is going to come into your life. Or again, this could be you um, becoming the emperor. Taking on this leadership position. Uh, being very disciplined. Um, ambitious. You know, setting goals. You know, the emperor is like a, a authority figure almost. Okay. And that's good energy. I feel like that. Like you could have been... A person that didn't like authority figures, <laughs> you know, challenge authority, right? Um, or very uh, lacking a discipline and things like that at one time. But I feel like everything that you have been going through this experience is growing you, okay? So you are becoming wiser um, and more disciplined um, because of it, okay? So here with the hangman coming out, basically... Um, I'm seeing this in the reverse position. So your perspective has changed. Yeah, that's what I was feeling like. It's like that uh, spiritual growth. Okay, so your perspective has changed. And you are, again, now really, you could have been neglecting your spiritual development or your spirituality at one time or this masculine energy could have been very selfish. Um, perspective definitely just like, stuff on old belief systems and things like that but otherwise here i feel like there could be yeah because of the challenges the uncertainties and it makes sense you know because a lot of times when you're going through a lot of stuff and you don't have that control it really puts you in this mindset right that's the ego that kicks in okay um and the ego begin to tell you that you want to give up make you feel tired make you feel like you don't have any control things like that like you're going in the wrong direction but boom the sun comes out again that's still like look you're getting this new beginning you're still getting this fresh start okay so it's like you're you're birthing everything new at this point right you're but you are have even gone through a rebirth or are going through that now but it, it requires um positivity it requires uh confidence it requires uh how can i say it for you to be optimistic enthusiastic right about what it is that you've been asking for in order to manifest it but at the end of the day like i said it still feels like it's coming there's been some challenges and delays but let's see Mm -hmm. Positive movement forward. That's the T bulls. I, I'm glad because I ain't look. I ain't feel like no drama today for real. This is good. You know what I'm saying? You're still getting that positive movement forward. Stay in the emperor energy, right? Stay optimistic. Okay. Now with that card, I want to look it up. You are a true artisan, for you have the craft, the skills, the knowledge, the gifts, and the talents to assist you even more to advance in a positive direction. The number eight always denotes prosperity and abundance, but in this case, it's your efforts that have gotten you to this point. Good for you. This card often comes forth to honor and recognize individuals who are in the field of art, design, music, and education. And when you follow and build on your passion, the soul can truly express itself and can then assist you to move closer towards your highest good. An opportunity could suddenly come up with an offer for an apprenticeship. Notice if there are areas of passion that are trying to manifest into your world, and when they arise, you have ample moments to share them with others. You will have it, okay? So yeah, expect some type of offer um, to come in for you. So let's see.
the hermit next to the high priestess okay so um go within of course to seek some type of guidance or wisdom here um you're definitely going to receive it <laughs> yeah high priestess energy you're definitely going to get the download okay um you're very intuitive or you have these uh, psychic abilities but it could also be around um being a spiritual teacher or also an intuitive right someone who is a psychic or you know around that area maybe doing tarot i keep hearing you know so i feel like whatever it is is not traditional okay it's not traditional wow show me what i need to see three of swords comes out king of swords in a reverse and then the six of wands comes out hmm Take some time to really go within again, like I said. If you need to get still and get by yourself about this, because I definitely feel like you've been through a lot already with the Three of Swords coming out, like a lot of strife or something here, or heartbreaks, misunderstandings here with a masculine energy, Knight of Swords, a King of Swords reverse. It could have been an air sign. I don't know why Libra came to my mind, but whoever this person is, they could have been very ruthless in their actions, okay? And you've had a lot of delays, all right? This is an air sign energy, straight like that. And another just popped in my mind, it was Aquarius, okay? Um, so they may have had, you know, ulterior motives and things like that, right? And especially when it came to you advancing or being validated or, or being recognized or something here of achieving certain things in your career. Okay. So yeah, the higher part comes out reverse. And I feel like it's because they were not, they were, they were trying to literally stop you from this pursuit. Okay. Like this is literally your life purpose is how I'm hearing it. God, at least <laughs> spirit is going to spill it to you. Okay? This is your life purpose. Okay. You are supposed to follow this, um, path. All right. Um, in establishing your own values and belief systems, 1222 on my timer. It's like, as the higher font, the higher font is a spiritual teacher, is a mentor, is a guide. You know, you're supposed to be on this pursuit where you are doing this on your own. I don't feel like you are, you should be partnered with somebody. So yeah, look at this, the Wheel of Fortune turns. I don't know why I said the Wheel of Fortune turns, but... <laughs> This is a turning point. So something's getting ready to shift, okay, for you. And again, it's like it's bringing you this good, good fortune. So whatever this could be, I feel like this Knight King of Swords in the reverse could have been very um, non-committal, okay, as well. Rebelling against commitment or they didn't like um, traditional things, okay, as well. So they, they definitely... Um, I, I see like it's not a lot of alignment here between whoever this is, you and this person, okay? I'm also hearing it could be an ex, someone you could have been committed to through marriage for some of you or, or um, a committed relationship, all right? But however, um, I feel like karma is on your side, like this is good, good karma, okay? So show me what I need to see. This is like the end of a cycle for you. Yeah, this is about your growth, your spiritual growth as well. Yeah, so things is definitely getting ready to get better. You, you could be going through a lot, okay? A lot of hardships or losses at some point here in your story. Um, Maybe dealing with like financial issues being that these are pinnacles or spiritual poverty or something here feeling helpless. But however, things are going to get better, okay? It may feel like it's a slow recovery, but this is a turning point. Um, destiny always changes, okay? This is unpredictable, of course. I feel like we're not supposed to see everything here with the Two of Cups coming out. So however this is going, it's like the way fate is working for you is bringing you in alignment with someone that there's is mutual okay so there's going to be a lot of uh, cooperation between you and this person 
I feel like it's bringing in some type of alliance or partnership. Let me see. Boom. Relationship or something. Temptation comes out. All right. I feel like this connection or it could have been um, a lot of self-limiting beliefs, addictions and things like that could be the reason that I, and what I just heard is like it could be what has brought the vision between you and this person so this could be a past person or you know somebody that whoever you have on, on your mind is what I'm hearing and with the conflict and defeat card coming out, but this is in a reverse, right? And what I'm saying is like, you were stuck in a cycle because some significant learning needed to be done and changes needed to be made. And it wasn't, it wasn't being done, right? It's like, it's vital. Like you had to learn these lessons. It was vital for your spiritual growth and for you to be able to receive Okay, what it is that you've been asking the universe or the divine for. And that's what's happening. So you've been going through a series of tests as well. Okay, but the relief is coming is how I'm seeing it. And what I'm seeing is that you are in alignment with someone. It's like you literally are, are mutual here and working in harmony with each other. The shadow here is like you guys may have are facing your triggers at this point, facing your shadow. A lot of shadow work had to be done or is being done. However, this is, it's like I do see somebody actually turning around and facing themselves. Okay, so, and literally, again, like I said, it's like these things had to be learned and had to be done in order for you to be able to come in alignment here with what, with what is faded is what I just heard. Thank you. Yeah, you had to go through a transformation, so... Thank you, my spirit team. I love when they fill in the, the gaps for me. I'll be like, <laughs> and they show me a card, like the universe came out again. So basically, you are now a co-creator to the divine, to the universe. And the universe is literally ready to reward you for your efforts, okay? So of course, you still got, you know, some things to do, but the world is yours to command. So set your intentions at this point on whatever it is that you are desiring. And um, hey, go after it. Straight like that. All of your efforts, everything that you put in. I know you are at the point of exhaustion, right? You've been resilient as hell through this journey. Um, these learning cycles. <laughs> I, I'm, I, for some, I'm hearing a healing journey. Some of you could be on a twin flame journey. It's like whatever you're doing, like you've been literally climbing up this steep ass mountain and you're almost at the top. Yep, you've been, you, you've been bared your cross. Look at that, the tower, tower's falling. Now guess what's being given to you? Whew, the key. This key opens up any and every door. Okay, look at this. The house right so that you can be able to build this foundation that you've been looking for whether it's you getting a new home somebody may be looking to purchase a home or move out of a place that you know is you know it's time to release or this is literally about you building a strong solid foundation for yourself okay so um the key basically opens doorways, exposing the outdoor. Okay, so this is a definite yes answer to whatever question you are asking. This is fate, a turn of events, an answer, the truth, a breakthrough moment, a revelation. Okay, so let's talk about that. I want to put some focus on this key. Tell me about the key. <clears throat> the door is open, honey. So you, you look. Spirit and like here, the key is yours. You are now a co-creator to the universe. The universe is ready to work with you. Okay, so come through. Take the key and walk through the door, booze. <laughs> Three of cups. You're gonna get to celebrate. King of cups. All right. You get ready. To, you get ready to get to celebrate. Okay. Go ahead and put your cup up in the air. All right. Friendships. Community. 
you will have sincere allies, right? Um, unity, basically. This is this is victory right now. Okay, so make sure you are balanced in your emotions. Yep. I feel like this has been working on your um look at that. The sun and the emperor comes out. Come on now. This is a new beginning for you. You're getting this fresh start, okay? This masculine energy coming through. So you're going to be celebrating something here with a masculine energy. They had to go through some things too is what I'm hearing. Somebody's in that divine masculine energy. All right. Somebody's in that, that uh, emperor king status energy. Show me what I need to see here. Four cups comes out next to the five of wands and the reverse. So basically... Um, whatever the disappointment is that you may be feeling or if you feel disconnected in some kind of way, honey, like I said, this is faded. You get in the key, boo. All right, whatever the conflict was, you're getting this opportunity. Then definitely, that's what's like, it's a reconciliation. And in this reconciliation, there's going to be cooperation. Okay, so yeah, definitely don't feel like this is new energy coming through. And again, you got free will. You don't got to do a god thing, thing, boo. Okay, so just remember that. You don't got to let me know in the comment section. You're saying you don't got to let my YouTube viewers know. I don't want them to know. It's all good. Like, we get it, you know? So the best thing to do is just release the past, stay present so that you'll be able to move forward. Um, usually, a lot of times, if the energy is speaking of past energies, it's because there's still some work to, or healing that needs to be done in reference to that. So, spirit will keep bringing it up and tell us face. Tell me about the house card. Yeah, four of wands and reverse, right? That's that house energy. That's that having that, that solid foundation. And that's what's been going on. It's like when it comes to um, your foundation, it's been unstable, And you're looking for stability and peace. Um, this is literally giving you the opportunity to have that balance you've been looking for. I'm settling down for some of you, okay? And like I said, it's like, this isn't somebody new that you're meeting. Like, you've never met them before. And then coming into your life is new. Like this person is either in your life now or there's a reconciliation with a past person, okay, that you may be in separation from. Look at that. This tower comes in reverse and the ace of cups upright. All right. So basically here it's like the tower fell, of course, but you are now rebuilding. The tower fell for you to wake up. All right, this is the beginning of prosperity, abundance, new relationships, new opportunities, fortune, love, joy, health, spirituality, your creativity, whatever, right? This is, it's like your cup is what I just heard. It's getting ready to overflow. That's the tea. Remain optimistic, okay? About your connection, about your true heart's desire, because all of that is on the horizon, uh, that's it. All right. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all enjoy the rest of your night. Peace.